In the last lecture, we saw that it was very difficult to create a very small output current because we would have to scale the reference resistor to be too small a value. The solution to this is if we want a small output current, uh, we can scale the VBE of the output transistor relative to the VBE of the input transistor. So what we're going to try and do is make VBE2 smaller than VBE1. Of course, this works the same way if we're using MOS transistors. We would just be changing the VGS rather than the VBE. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a KVL loop around these base to emitter junctions. So our KVL equation is VBE1 is equal to VBE2 plus the voltage drop across resistance 2. If we assume that beta is very large, we can rewrite this and say VBE1 is equal to VBE2 plus IC2, which would just be equal to I out times R2. Okay, we can solve this in terms of VBEs and say that R2 times I out is equal to VBE1 minus VBE2. And if we assume that the transistors are equal, we can write this in terms of the exponentials. and combine the logarithm. Okay, now this equation uh, doesn't have a solution, so what we have to do is iterate. Now we probably know what reference current we want to use, and we probably know the desired output current. So what we can do is iterate R2 until, uh, to, until the solution is met. Okay. Now, one other thing that we'd like to know with our current sources is what the output resistance is. So here, we know we're going to be looking into the collector of the transistor. So let's ask, what is R out for the circuit? Now, we're looking into the collector of a transistor that has a resi resistor in its emitter. And so we can find easily that the output resistance R out is equal to RO of the transistor times 1 plus GM of the transistor times the resistance in the emitter. So one nice thing about the Widlar current source is that it gives us a higher output impedance than a simple current mirror. And uh, we can also easily achieve a very small current at the output.